my name is Abdul Wasim. I am from Pakistan. I am 18 years old and I am doing a Bachelor's of Engineering at Auckland University. Hi, my name is Sara and I'm Abdul Wasim's mother and I'm um, currently here with Nabil in Auckland and helping him adjust into the university. I was doing college in Pakistan and I was going to finish it over there college and then start uni directly from Auckland. But the reason I did I wasn't able to complete college over there because my exams got postponed due to COVID-19. So that is when I decided to choose this foundation course. So it would give me the opportunity to get the credits that I needed to go into uni. I looked at all the options I had at the time and there weren't many. There was one where I could have done high school for a year, but that would have meant I would have missed like two or three months. And then there were other options, but all of them meant that I would was going to start uni a bit later than the first sem, like when the first sem starts in March. So I wanted to start, me and my parents decided that we should start as soon as possible. So that's why I chose the accelerated program because it allowed me to get into uni in the fastest time possible. There were quite a lot of subjects. The ones I chose were chemistry, physics, economics, and calculus. And I had to do English um, as a literacy and I needed to pass that to get into the uni. They were quite difficult. I'd done a similar um, sort of studies in my first year at college, but because that was during COVID as well, so I didn't really grasp all the concepts. So when I started this foundation course, I was basically doing everything from scratch and the teachers were quite helpful and it did help to build up all my concepts. I always responded to my messages and they always mm -hmm. helped me out whenever I had any questions. Chemistry and physics, I got around like 75, 76 and then calculus and economics were both in the 80s. Okay. So I think I needed a 300 score to progress and I got 322 out of 400. Yeah, I would definitely say like if you do not have meet the requirements to get into uni, I would definitely recommend the foundation course, not because just for like credits, but because it prepares you so well for uni, because I will admit the workload is extremely high. And for like, if you're doing it started, then for like seven or eight months, your life will just completely revolve around studying. But in the end, like if you pass and you get the grades, then the satisfaction is like, there's a lot of satisfaction in it and it will definitely help you throughout your university if you if you're already used to that much workload then you won't you won't struggle when you start out uh, mechanical engineering for now because okay. i've already always liked machinery and cars and whatnot so that's what i want to go go into when i get done with my degree I started this degree out i, I was thinking it was gonna um, like they were gonna ask us what you want to go into and then they were gonna concentrate on that a specialization only and then I thought it was going to be extremely difficult when it started out but I'm, I'm like it was quite surprising to see that what they do in the first year is just they just build your concepts up so even if you have struggled in high school you still have opportunities to come to uni and learn all that stuff again from like the lecturers over here and build those concepts up again so I was quite like it was a pleasant surprise to see that it's, they don't put you in the deep end like instantly. They allow you to adjust a little bit in the first year. And then from then on, I've heard that well, then it gets quite a bit harder. And you have to when you choose your specialization, that's when the real workload starts. My favorite part about coming to uni every day is just like coming to campus, like meeting, meeting you, like meeting my friends that I've made so far in engineering not and it's just it's so easy to make friends in uni because everyone's like around the same age and everyone's going through the same struggles so you, you can all relate over that and yeah after lectures like all me and my friends from engineering we just go and we play table tennis in the buildings and go and have food and stuff and it's yeah it's quite a lot of fun hanging out If you have the opportunity to come and study in Auckland and um, it's a feasible option for you, then I would definitely recommend trying it out because studying online overseas is extremely difficult and it's something I've gone through and I wouldn't want anyone else to go through it as well. 
So if you have the opportunity, then coming here and studying in person with classmates and meeting, seeing your teachers face to face is definitely better and it's easier to adjust to as well. So what I would recommend is just having like an open mind and, you know, being ready for all the challenges that you're about to face because it definitely is not easy for anyone. So just being prepared to, you know, face all the challenges and, you know, do hard work. The reason I like Auckland so much is because it's extremely peaceful and quiet and compared to like my hometown, which is Pakistan, like there was so much chaos all the time and it was so loud, but in Auckland, everything's just so calm and peaceful compared to back there. And it's really, it's really easy to adjust, like to live here and there's not a lot of stresses like um you know you're not worried about something because it's a, like the life here is so calm and yeah, you can just kind of go with the flow basically yeah new zealand as a country is definitely quite beautiful like um it's um greenery and it's so unpolluted and there's so many spots you can visit all the time and weekends like beaches and whatnot and there's so many places to go on hike as well and uh, go on road trips with friends so yeah there's a lot of opportunities to you know just have a lot of fun here i think that coming to new zealand was probably one of the best decisions uh, because uh, coming here he's uh, very happy he's settled in it took us a little while but then that's natural moving to a new country so especially in the beginning he didn't have any friends because we were in lockdown as soon as we came in. but otherwise he's very happy he's very uh, satisfied and i'm very satisfied with the studies that he's doing not going to rest uh, i think auckland and new zealand is very safe and uh, parents should just send your kids with an open mind and um, people are really welcoming, they're really helpful and um, I'm sure your kids will adjust really well. The family life is really good and you have a lot of um, parks and beaches and um, things to do here and it's really peaceful and um, it's very calm and I think like um, it's very safe for children, they can easily catch the bus anywhere and um, you know the buses are really accessible, they're really good. Uh, research all the universities, University of Auckland is an excellent university, especially for engineering and uh, you should definitely um, study the culture a little bit before you come and for bringing you can buy everything from here, um, you don't really need to bring anything but I think um, just you know come, uh, be prepared, the university is hard, it's a lot of work so be prepared to do your work and uh, you know just have fun, I think, um, yeah, it's easy. Shouldn't be too hard to move here. Yeah. Okay, bye. See you. See you See soon you. in Auckland. Thank you for watching.